did head this way. Looks like we're driving into a... God knows what. Um, we're just doing a quick video today on um, today's test drive. We're in the Jaguar pace today. Um, it's not a car that we'd be looking at buying a brand new one. Um, because these start at about 65. Is it about 65 grand? They start at about £65,000, so there's not a chance that we'd be looking to buy a new one. Um, so we've borrowed this one from um, a dealer close to us today. They've let us have it for a few hours. Um, first impressions are... The car, the car's really, really comfy. It feels like the Polestar we had the other day to drive. It feels heavy, feels sturdy. Um, but there's just something about it that I just don't like. Um, the one thing I can notice in this, and I don't know why, I don't know if it's the tyres and the wheels, but the road noise from this is really bad. I can hear everything from outside. On the motorway, the tyre noise and the road noise was really bad. Um, I think I could even hear the noise yards, from the mirrors. Take the second exit at the roundabout onto Wakefield Road. You know, to just... Um, not by me as well because I've not got a clue where we're going. Are we following this? Yes, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where we are. Take the second yeah, so the road the noise roundabout. is really, really bad. Um, now I don't know if that's down to the actual tyres and the wheels that are on it. But the noise, the car, the car's not as quiet as our car and we've got we've got the eye on it. Even now, driving along, all, I, all I've got in that year is the winking noise, of the road right noise. The, A650. Um, the drive of the car as well. I don't, I don't ever feel like car sick in any car or anything, but the actual ride of the car is actually making me feel a bit car sick. I don't know if it's the suspension in this. Have, have these got some kind of fancy suspension? Is it like an air thing? Now I feel. Right. I don't know. I just feel seasick. <laughs> Yeah, I, no, that, I that, know, that's it actually, I do, I feel seasick. That's a donut. Feel really like, yeah. Just, just After feel really funny. After half a mile, continue straight um, ahead. And like I said, to say the price of this car would be from £65,000, straight away getting in the car, yeah, the car's nice. But I'm already a bit put off. Even if I had £65,000 or more to spend on it, I don't think I'd actually buy it. Um, where's this going? Straight on? Yeah, just keep going straight. So, yeah, that's just a little bit of my feedback really from being inside the car. It's got a head-up display in front of me which I, only I can see. Um, I'm not actually a fan of a head-up display. <laughs> you like it, don't you? I think it's good, yeah. It's good. I'm actually not a fan of it. I mean, now obviously I can see it in front of me. It says, not my upper arrow and it just says ready. Um, that's actually a bit distracting. Um, I just like having the windscreen in front of me just clear and fine. And you're not trying not to laugh. <laughs> Kids have joined us. So, they're quiet at the minute. Say hi! <laughs> so... Yeah, it was, just a, it was just a little bit of a quick feedback really, that was all from driving it inside, but like I said, the car is nice, the car's are nice to look at. After um, 200 yards, continue straight ahead on to shipping Airdale I'm not actually, I'm not actually even convinced by the SUV position. I mean, we used to have an SUV, didn't we, before we got the eye on it. Um, but sat in this... I don't, I just don't know. There's just something about it. I don't know. Now Most of the people are probably saying, oh, yeah, the eye pace is lovely, it's lovely. There's just something about it for me that I'm just don't like. Well, I'm not keen on and I don't like. Jaguar After half a mile, continue straight ahead. That's what I mean. Jaguar Laro. But there's just Pretty. really, there's just really something being sat in this car driving it that I, I just don't like. I know I've probably said that a few times now, but that's just obviously my just opinion. Um, it's complicated. Yeah, we've not really worked out everything, how to use it, the climate and stuff, that was a little bit complicated to get right. We've not found any settings for anything else. 
We've not found any setting, anything to do with regen. We did get in the car, and the car was cold, weren't it? And the battery was cold. Traffic light continues straight so ahead. So we think on, on this road. dash in front of me, we do think it, it had reduced regen and reduced power. But I don't know. There's just something. Continue straight I ahead. It's the wheels. Yeah, that's what I mean. A lot of this noise and the drive of it might be the wheels. I really don't know. But like I said, I'm not going to babble on anymore about obviously the driving of it. It was just a bit of a quick review of what I thought being sat in it driving it. Um, I don't feel as comfy as a Polestar the other day, and I don't feel as comfy driving it as our car. I just feel a bit uneasy. I feel a bit uneasy and just not right. <laughs> I can't explain it. But, yeah, so I'll leave it at that for now anyway. We'll do a walk round video of the car just to show the car that we've got. But yeah, I'll leave it at that for now on inside anyway. Thanks. Just gonna do a um, quick walk round of the car that we've had today for test drive. So this is the one that we've got. Um, as far as I know, I think it's a HS, HSE model. So, just do. This one looks nice from the side. In the front, we've got the nice big wheels. But, um, yeah, it's been. Um, it's been really nice to drive, but there's just something I can't... There's just something I can't put my finger on with the car. Um, it's made me feel seasick. Um, I'm just going to turn the camera around anyway, so I can um, do the video the other way around. So just give me a second. I get the camera back. So, yeah, um, I've enjoyed driving it. The car is... Um, the car's really, really nice and really plush. Obviously, it's an expensive car. The only thing is, is... Oh, yeah, we haven't actually seen the boot. I think, even if I had the money to spend on this, which the HSE model, we're looking probably about £80,000, I, I don't think I'd actually go for it. Um, big, massive boot. So, can't disagree, the boot space is massive. That's brilliant. So... Close bottom, so we'll close that. Nice automatic boot. Wheels. We've got nice big wheels. In fact, what are these wheels? What size? 20. I can't even find the size. Sorry. I'll ask him. So. I like the handles, charge port, nice and easy pop open, look at bung there in the bottom, that's nice and easy, open the door up, I believe noisy devils, so we've got the black leather interior in this one, we've got panoramic roof, Come on, thank you. So, yeah, it was just a quick walk around video, that's all. What do we have in the front? Small storage area. That's it. Yeah. So, we'll leave it at that really. Uh, it was only a short video to just say. Oh, sorry, yeah, HSE. So it is HSE. Um, what size are them wheels? I couldn't find it. They're going to be about 22 or 21. 20s. 20s. Oh, 20s. Tires are 20. <laughs> so, yeah, that's our test drive for today. Jaguar I Pace, the HSE version. Um, yeah, don't really know what else to say. We would, We did say we would have considered maybe a used one of these. Obviously expensive, uh, expensive starting price for new, but we would have considered maybe looking at a used one. But 
I think after today's test drive, unfortunately, my opinion, and I think Scott's opinion as well, is I think we both agree that it's not for us. Um, yeah, he said we could have it for a couple of hours, but I think we'll just I think we're gonna head back and take it back next to be honest. Um so yes, yeah, so I'll leave it there. So Jaguar I pace test drive review. I know a lot of people might disagree. Um but I think for the money it's not actually my cup of tea and not what I'd actually buy. Um I was a lot happier with the Polestar yesterday. Yesterday day four. I was a lot happier with the Polestar, but yeah, so I'll leave it there.